In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how you can save a PDF inside of Adobe Photoshop. So I have my file ready here. And when you have your file ready, which you want to save as a PDF inside of Adobe Photoshop, we're going to go to File and then choose Save As. In the Save As menu, you can choose to save as a Photoshop PDF. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to choose File Save a Copy. And then in Save a Copy, you can also choose Photoshop PDF. And then here I'm going to name this one Save as a PDF 1. We will see why I have a 1 later on. And then I'm going to save this copy. Here Photoshop will tell you that the settings we are going we have chosen in the Save Adobe PDF dialog will override or can override our current settings in the Save As dialog box. If you don't want to see this notification again, you can take this box which says Don't Show Again. And then we press OK. Now here we get a lot of options in the Save Adobe PDF uh, prompt. You can choose a standard if it's required by your printer. Sometimes printers ask for a standard, but by default leave it on None. And then we have the general option here, which lets you choose to preserve the editing capabilities, Photoshop editing capabilities, or don't preserve them. We're going to choose to preserve them for the first file, and then we'll make another one after where we choose to not preserve them and see the difference. You also have compression here, which you can edit if needed. You have the output where you can change your color conversion. Uh, you have security if you want to require your password to open a document or use a password to restrict printing, editing and other tasks. But for now, I'm just going to click Save PDF and preserve the editing capabilities. And now we get the notification that when you have the preservation of the Photoshop editing capabilities on, it is incompatible with the earlier versions. And in the earlier versions, you must choose to open a, PDF, a generic PDF and not a Photoshop PDF. But we're going to continue. So this is our first copy with preservation of the editing capabilities. Now I'm going to save a second copy. And uh, we'll save as a PDF. Again, the same notification. And here I'm going to take uh, untick the preserve the editing capabilities and then save. Now I'm going to open both of them. As you can see here, the first one with editing capabilities in its 978 kilobytes. And without editing capabilities, it's 391 kilobytes, so it does make a difference in the file size. Let's see if we can open both of them together by pressing Shift. And then here, for a second one, it asks how we want to open it. If you have more than one page, you have to choose all the pages you want to open. But for this one, it looks OK, and I'm just going to press OK. So our first one with editing capabilities. As you can see here, we have several several layers which kept our vector, our text, clips, and our imported file. So we can still edit all of that here. In the second PDF where we chose to not preserve the editing capabilities, as you can see, we only have one layer and it's basically turned into one solid image which you cannot edit anymore. So yeah, that's how you can save as a PDF inside of Photoshop with or without the editing capabilities. Let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. Be sure to press the thumbs up button if you did. Press the subscribe button if you want to see more of my videos. I have new tutorials going live every week. And for now, thank you for watching my video. Stay creative and I hope to see you in the next one.